I don't think people should be frightened. I mean, uh, the, the risk right now, today, currently, is really relatively low for the American public. And it really does displease me to find people going out. There's no role for these masks in the community. No, right now, at this moment, there is no need to change anything that you're doing on a day-by-day -day basis. Right now, the risk is still low. Government officials say face masks are not necessary if you are healthy. Wearing this as a healthy person will not protect you. And stay safe by washing your hands, by covering your cough, by staying home if you're sick. Masks do not work for the general public in preventing them from getting coronavirus. Right. People should not be walking around with masks. You're sure of it, because people are listening really no. closely to them. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. It's important for us to first and foremost protect our healthcare workforce and it is imperative that they have the equipment that is needed. And so for everyday New Yorkers, we don't recommend the use of surgical masks. We don't generally recommend the wearing of masks in public by otherwise well individuals because uh, it has not been up to now associated with any particular benefit. A lot of discussion around face coverings, what they are, what they're not. They are not a call to get folks to find N95 masks or surgical masks and pull them away or compete against our first responders. First of all, I want people to understand that the CDC, the World Health Organization, my office, and most public health and health organizations and professionals originally recommended against the general public wearing masks that we now know from recent studies that a significant portion of individuals with coronavirus lack symptoms. They're what we call asymptomatic. And that even those who eventually become pre-symptomatic, meaning that they will develop symptoms in the future, can transmit the virus to others before they show symptoms. In light of this new evidence, CDC recommends and the task force recommends wearing cloth face coverings in public settings where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain.